it is day number 49. Eh. Right, that is seven whole weeks. Seven times seven. Nice one. Things have gone pretty good. I, I'm, I'm a little bit wary that it's very echoey in here. I'm not sure how that's going to come out on the, uh, on the microphone, but, you know. We need to get some, like, wall hangings or maybe even some sound foam. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm still pretty happy from yesterday. Um, I think, I honestly think that yesterday I kind of... I, like, I think that yesterday I was having a bit of an issue and I'm not entirely sure what it was or what was causing it, but I, like looking back at yesterday's vlog entry, I seemed really like amped up. And yeah, like I, I, I don't know, I think it might have just been a combination of heat and you know, not eating up until a ridiculously long, like, long time into the evening. Um, just, like, all of the work that I'd been doing. Probably not drinking enough water, even though I was trying very hard. Um, yeah, I... I was a little bit, like, manic. And thankfully I recognised that, you know, when I posted the video as well. But, uh, yeah, just... Hmm. Oh well, never mind, you know, things happen, I guess. Uh, I've been a little bit better about everything today. I've, uh, I've not been outside as much. I did go out because we needed to buy some washing up liquid and, and one or two other little things. Um, yesterday, it turns out, was 32 degrees in the shade, which kind of explains why walking outside felt like walking into an oven. Today, in the shade, it was apparently 31 degrees. This is all Celsius, by the way. Um, so yeah, like as little time spent outside as possible because it's about 10 degrees cooler in the house than it is outside. Unless, unless, you know, Rowan turns on the radiators to full blast, which he, he did for the first time in a while today. He's been pretty good about not turning them on, but today, for some reason, just, oh, this thing twists. Uh, which has led to, uh, led to a point where I walked in a room and it felt like I was walking around outside and I had to, you know, crank it off, open a window, just like leave it shut and open to the elements for a while in the hopes of airing it out. Probably didn't do much, but mm, you know, it's worth a shot. Uh, right, anyway, so, all of that out the way, we're a little bit caught up now. Um, not quite as happy as yesterday. Still pretty happy, still happy with how things are going, but a little bit miffed as well. A little bit, like, just that tiny little bit of annoyance. Because what has been happening is, um, the other day I had beers. I had three beers and immediately shot back up around about a kilo and, and a bit. And, you know, I, I, I dealt with it. I just went, oh, well, you know, I just not drink beer again for a while. Obviously, you know, it's a lot of carbs. It does a lot for you. You know, it's not very good. Um, so the, the weight shift was I went from 118.2 up to 119.5. And, you know, over the course of a few days, got it back down. And yesterday, I felt really, really good about everything. I was 118.3. Today was the day I was gonna slam underneath and, you know, be at my lowest weight for a long time. And, and it was gonna be awesome. Yeah, it was a bit of a stall from last week or you know day 42 weigh in because I was like 118 point something then as well and I stepped on the scales this morning and I was 119.5 
And I, you know, I, I sort of gripped my teeth and said, look, it's okay. Like, we, we store the scales at one point in the bathroom, like, you know, maybe like two or three tiles away from where I pull it to so that I can stand on them. Um, you know, maybe it's just a, a calibration error. So I stepped off, waited, stepped back on, 119.5. Tried again, 119.6. Tried again, 119.5. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so I've, you know, I, I was kind of expecting at some point during this entire journey, this would happen. Like I've put weight on compared to last week. So I haven't lost compared to last week, but still overall, you know, the, the trend of weight loss is, is still there. I mean, chances are I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow morning and I'm going to be down another like two, three hundred grams or something like that. I, I don't know. So it's not as good scale wise as I would like, but you know, I know that it's going to happen and I, I've been expecting something to go wrong on weigh-ins. I mean, even with my previous plateaus, I managed to either just to say dip to the bottom end of them or, uh, or you know, just break out of them just in time. So, yeah, no. It's not the end of the world. It's still something that I'm working on. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, not going to give up on everything just because I didn't get something that I wanted one day out of 49. Like, meh. Uh, right, so. There we go. So uh, that means that, you know, here's the, the day, I think it's over this side. I can't ever remember which side it is because my camera records it one way, but then playing it back in footage, it, it flips the screen to another way. Whichever side it is, these ones or here or whatever. Um, last week, you know, day 42 reading is now up on the screen. Today's reading obviously all the translation into pounds and how many kilos gained from last week not lost but gained etc uh yeah so you know it's it's not bad i'm still much much improved compared to you know day zero day one that sort of thing uh right okay so i've now covered roughly what i've done today and you know, yesterday. Um, Weigh-ins, which is pretty good. Uh, food today, uh, lunch was this. Uh, I basically took my, uh, took one of the final portions of my uh, cheesy pasta bake that I threw together the other day, um, put in a little bit of Worcester sauce after, you know, microwaving it, mixed it all around and just sat and ate it with a small amount of bread. Um, Rowan had, uh, had some, some awesome pasta. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a mix. There's like the, the sort of like the conch shell pasta, like the seashell pasta. I don't know what it's called at all. Um, but it's, it's a mix of that and, uh, the remainder of a packet of these really cool little pasta shapes that Saguta found where, uh, it's all, uh, nautical themes. So there's little sailboats and there's little sharks and crabs and all sorts of weird and wonderful little bits like uh, seahorses and stuff. Um, so he had all of that with some chicken, um, like gave him some vegetables afterwards, gave him a, gave him an apple as well. And he ate half of that, um, yeah, like today was today was a decent day for lunch. Um, then it came to dinner time, and because of trying to get the kitchen ready, which it still isn't finished, I've put the doors on and I've got some shelves done, but it turns out that one of the last little bits that I needed to finish in order to make it perfect, we picked up the wrong size item in IKEA. We should have got a a 40 centimeter wide thing and we got 30 centimeter so it doesn't actually fit in where we need it to fit typical right 
And this is after I've done all the work, screwing all the cabinets together, get them all sorted, putting everything in and this, that and the other. And then the one bit that we need to finish it off. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Anything that can go wrong probably will, you know? Uh, right. So, uh, yeah. So dinner tonight. Uh, so good to got home from work. As I say, it's 31 degrees in the shade. It's ridiculously warm. Um, she came home and instantly collapsed on the sofa and said, look at my feet. And there are blisters on the top of her foot. There are blisters all down the underside. They're everywhere. Um, just because, you know, like she, she's kind of prone to getting blisters anyway. But the extra heat and, and standing on the train and everything is just wrecking her. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very good. So she didn't want to stand and cook or anything like that, which I, you know, like I'd happily take over. Um, kitchen's still a bit of a building site, and there's stuff all over the counters. So instead of doing the adult thing and cleaning, we did the lazy adult thing and ordered in. Again, I figured, you know, today's a bit of a, a washout for weigh-in anyway. Is it like I've got a week to recover from it? I've eaten pizza before and it's been fine. I know I need to be a lot better about this sort of thing, but it's, it, yeah, it was just too warm to think and stand there cooking. I mean, I, I've got cooking to do because I'm actually, I'm, I'm down to one portion of anything in the fridge. I need to cook and get, you know, my uh, my stock of, of ready meals back up. But unfortunately, the things that I fancy cooking and f want to eat and think that I can just do consistently uh, and eat those things consistently day after day after day for an entire week and then maybe do something a bit different on a weekend when I've got a bit more time, all of those are things like chili and curry and... You know, stuff where you've got to, like, stand there for a fair while and mix and, yeah. Or at least get everything sorted and set it all away. And I just didn't have time to do that and I didn't have space to do that. So, yeah, we decided to order in pizza. Um, we couldn't find the place that I ordered before that did vegan. So, uh, you know, I, I sort of said, look, it's fine. Let's order something vegetarian. Saguta will eat something that's vegetarian as well. So anything that's left over, she can take to work. I've got my pasta. We're good. So that's what we did. Uh, the two pizzas that were ordered, we ordered three altogether. There was one that was like salami and walnuts and some other random stuff that I didn't touch. Uh, one that was a grilled vegetables with, uh, with cheese, um, which is this one. And there was another one that was uh, just a mushroom pizza, like a, a fungi, uh, fungi. And that was this one. And that was really good. I did have some Diet Pepsi along with that, but you know, I, I've been working a lot all day. I need to stop making excuses. I should just be ridiculously hard on myself. It is the only Pepsi that I've drank all day. Everything else has been water. Uh, we're out of it now. Tomorrow is just gonna be water as well. So, you know, focus, Martin. Yes, I should, I should be so much better about what I'm doing. I'm still getting results though. I mean, yeah, today kind of sucked, but for the most part, everything's been, you know, yeah, well, so it looks like I'm not quite at Bristol for another few days, but, you know, we'll get there. We will get there. And the day that I get there, that's going to be a happy day. And then after that, uh, my, uh, my Fitbit app will finally start recognizing that I've lost weight because at the minute it still remembers my very, very first weigh-in years and years and years ago when I first moved to Bristol and bought a Fitbit. And yeah, I figured it would be a place to keep it, all, all my tracking data, but yeah, meh. 
I, I use it mainly for the graph, but even then the My Fitness Pal app, it gives you a better graph anyway. So, yeah, anyway, anyway. Uh, right, so that was that. Uh, I haven't eaten anything since. I haven't eaten anything other than that. I haven't snacked today. Uh, I haven't, uh, you know, haven't gone off the rails with drinking anything that I shouldn't be drinking. I haven't had any hot drinks because it's too warm. Um, yeah, everything's, everything apart from the pizza, in all honesty, has been very, very good. Um, I drafted a post last night for Reddit as well. Because the the way I figured it was, I've been lurking in uh, r slash lose it for years because I, I started posting in there when I was you know when I was in Bristol when I was working out every day when I was trying like paleo diets and this and that and the other uh, when I was doing the couch to five k program in Bristol as well um, all of these things that I, I I've had sort of in my Reddit subreddits list but have just been using as like inspiration for the most part and haven't really been doing anything with so i figured it was time to sort of back engage in that i told you last night i was thinking about doing it i wrote the post i posted it uh i put some progress pictures in there from uh, you know comparing day one with day 49 um they're a little bit not safe for work because it's basically just me and my boxes uh which you know i don't I don't want to subject you lot to that. Like, weird, random people on Reddit, absolutely fine. But YouTube viewers, yeah, now that, like, there's a lot of friends, <laughs> friends and family that actually look in there. And, you know, if you find the post, I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself. Or not, as the case may be. I don't know. You might need bleach or, or fire or something. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so posted that. Uh, not too long ago, um, you know, all my up-to-date information, like weights and st stuff. Um, yeah. Mm. The cat is being sad. Weird, weird animal. Um, yes, so, is there anything else going on? I think tomorrow is going to be another warm day. But I think we've got everything in the house now. We don't need to go out anywhere. Um, I think what I'll probably try and do is maybe get up a little bit earlier, maybe uh, maybe even before Saguta wakes up, um, in order to get to the instant pot, clean it, get everything prepped and ready, and just set a chili mix away. Um, something like something like kidney beans. Quail beans, I think they're called quail beans, I don't know. Hmm. I can't remember the name in German. It, it, it's something like quail beans. Um, they're like mottled white and uh, white and a pale red sort of thing. Uh, and maybe some black beans and sweet corn. A can of tomatoes, a little bit of spice, you know, all of that sort of, uh, all that sort of good stuff. Mix it together, put it on a slow cook for an hour or two. Come back to it, see how that goes. Yeah, see how that see how that turns out. I think what I'm probably going to try doing as well is I might very well do the uh, do the carrot dogs again. I think what I might do with them after they've been in the oven for a little bit is take them out, chop them up into hot dog chunks, and just have them in a in a little container in the fridge. Um, and then if I want to throw them onto a baked potato or into some pasta or something like that, then I can. And I've got, you know, like a fairly basic sort of terrible meal of, you know, mac and hot dogs and cheese. But mm, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I, I definitely like the carrot dogs. I want to see if there's other things that I can do with them and incorporate them into other recipes. Um, I definitely need to do the Italian tofu sausage recipe that Jessica and Brian posted because that one looks awesome. And I put my tofu in the freezer and I, I keep forgetting to go back to it, take it out and, and defrost it and do everything. Um, 
the chili recipe in my own, I've got some uh, whole wheat spaghetti, like the actual strands. Uh, so I can probably do like a, a rich bolognese or, or like a, the mushroom ragu that uh, Kathleen from Loading Ready Run did on Tinker Taylor Soldier Solder Fry a couple of weeks back, uh, whenever it was. Uh, I, I don't know. There's, there's many options and I think I found the few recipes that I actually enjoy and want to keep using. Um, you know, there's like things that I can rotate in and rotate out. For example, I'm not doing the, uh, not doing the burrito rice from, uh, potato strong this time around. Uh, and that's purely because I had it <laughs> multiple days in a row, multiple weeks in a row. And I don't want to go out and buy brown rice again just yet because, you know, I've got like, I've got polenta and pastas and all sorts of things. I need to use that up first before I start looking at buying more stuff, you know? Um, hmm. I don't know. I think that's about everything. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Um, oh, uh, this caused Saguta a little bit of confusion. Um, she is watching my vlogs a little bit. Like, she kind of skips through some of the stuff because, you know, I tell her about my day anyway. Um, but a thing that confused her was uh, yesterday um, when I, I, I did the, uh, the Charles, Charles Hawtrey. Might be Charles Hawtrey. No, Kenneth Williams. That's it. Kenneth Williams from uh, Carry On, the uh, oh, matron. Like that. She's never seen the Carry On movies. Ever. And I imagine there's probably a fair few of you that haven't seen them either. I cannot recommend them highly enough. They are bawdy, <laughs> sometimes cringy examples of British comedy from the 70s, you know? They're, they're, they're kind of timeless. They're, well, I say that, they all look very, very dated now. Um, it's just a little bit of innuendo and uh, double entendre and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, like, there's probably some awful part of a couple of the movies that I've, I've forgotten about completely. Or, uh, or just I'm not aware of. But it's, it was a thing that I watched when I was growing up. It was a staple of British comedy from way back in the day, you know? And obviously she'd never seen that because Lithuanian. And she's got an entirely different cultural background for, like, youth to me. Like, uh, I showed her the... Um, oh, so uh, episode five of Chernobyl. So Chernobyl's over now. It, like, the, the show is finished. Um, but in that they showed the, uh, the, the sort of Mickey Mouse character thing. It's like a very Russian version of Mickey Mouse. I, I have no idea what it is, what it's called, anything, but this thing is now all over Twitter and the internet. And I showed that to Saguta and she just went, oh yeah. And I'm like, but this thing's creepy. No, it isn't. It's, you know, it's just a thing. You know, it, it's like, uh, we've got Winnie the Pooh, you know? Little cuddly toy bear, yellow, little red shirt, never wears pants, loves honey, all of that sort of stuff. That's a really nice, feel-good thing for us Westerners, right? Like, you know Winnie the Pooh, and he's adorable. In Russia, they have Winnie Pooh, or something very, very close to that anyway. And it is a small brown bear uh, who is genuinely terrifying, and I cannot see it as anything other than Soviet-era propaganda, because the one thing that I've watched of it has Winnie Pooh uh, talking about how if bees didn't want their honey to be eaten by the people, they wouldn't make it. And, you know, the people deserve the honey because it's there. Uh, yeah, that's... Mm, I don't know, that just struck me as a little bit... Ooh. 
Uh, right, okay, well, we've done the thing of sort of going off on tangents again, but we do that every time. So, you know, if you're still, if you're still around, obviously you don't mind them that much. Or if you do, I don't know, tell me, let me know. I'll start printing out a script and putting it here in front of the camera or something. Uh, right, it's late. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this all together. I'm gonna let the cat back in the living room before he has uh, some sort of some sort of conniption. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for day number fifty. Still weird to think that it's been like fifty days as well. Like this is so much longer than I thought it would actually be. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, right. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pop off. Thank you very much for joining me once again. And uh, yeah, hit me up. Give me a give me a shout on social media or uh, or in the comments below. Um, have a look in the description. Go visit some of the people that uh, that have inspired me and you know provide recipes and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye.